Hi, I'm Mitch, and this is a quick tip on using expressions in FreeCAD. I previously made a longer video of this, and then I realized in order to understand the syntax and how to use expressions, it really only takes about a five-minute video. And so this is a shortened version of that. I've also switched to FreeCAD 0.20.2 for this. The idea behind this video is typically when you make a part, you want to have one or two driving dimensions, and then if you choose to edit those dimensions, all the other ones ought to change along with it. And I've done that for this uh, flange here, and so you can see that my one driving dimension is here uh, 200 millimeters, and if I make that bigger, say 300 millimeters, everything updates including the number of bolt hole circles and then if I go uh, back down to maybe uh, 252 millimeters which would be 10 inches the number of bolt holes decreases and everything else updates. You can also do this with a spreadsheet. I've also made a video on that but sometimes it's quicker and easier just to use expressions. So let's look at how to do that. So I've already made this flange design once. Let's just remake it again from the beginning. So we'll start a new file, begin in the part design workbench, which we were already in, go to Sketcher, choose the XZ plane, and I want to make my driving dimension the outside diameter, and I think I'm going to make that uh, 10 inches, which is 252 millimeters. So I'll enter that one manually zoom out and then I'm gonna drive the inside diameter of that off of this and that's where I'll start using the functions button so first I'll, I'll go to functions by clicking on this functions icon here it brings it up and I want to make that constraints index 1 times 0 0.8 minus 2.4 inches. And you can see it was giving me an error up until I got the formula right. Let's look at a couple of important uh, parts of this formula. First of all, the word constraints re refers to the constraints uh, index. We have one, two, three, four of those here, but the indexing starts at zero. So that means constraint one is index zero, constraint two is index one, and so on. So the index is always one less than the name it was given here. A little annoying, but that's the way it is. And so constraints index one is that 252 millimeters. Constraints must be capitalized. And uh, even though my other dimensions are in millimeters, as long as I give my some kind of dimension here, it will convert to millimeters for me. Notice that I don't need any dimensions uh, for constraints times 0 0.8 because constraints index 1 already has units. So you just need to make sure that you, you keep units all the way across and it'll convert any um, changes in units. So let's hit enter, OK, OK. So I'd like to show you a couple different options for syntax there. So if I come over to my constraint 2, which is index 1, and rename it to, let's say, OD. That's my outside diameter, right? And now, when I come back uh, into my inside diameter, which depends on that, I can also, instead of clicking the function X button, I can just hit the equals button, and that brings up my formula editor. Let me bring it back onto the screen here. And you can see that it's actually already changed the index. This was pre previously constraints index 1, and it's already changed it to constraints dot OD. Another piece of syntax that we can use that's not really necessary here because I'm within the sketch, but uh, if you leave this sketch and we, you want to refer to your driving dimension that's in separate sketches, you have to refer back to that sketch. So the way we could do that is say S-K-E-T-C-H, sketch. And the name of this sketch is currently sketch. We're going to change that as well. But this is also acceptable syntax. And so if you leave this sketch and want to refer to it in some other sketch, then you have to add this syntax to it. And so all of those are OK. So that's just some syntax notes. OK, so this uh, portion of the sketch is fully constrained. So let's close that. And we'll come to our sketch, and we'd like to pad that. 
And I'm going to pad this based on my outside diameter. So I'm going to say that equals. Now I need to say sketch. dot constraints dot od times 0 0.07 is what I want. OK. And we zoom out, and there it is. OK. And now you can see that if I come back to my pad and I rename my sketch something like uh, flange base and I come back to my pad you can see that it's changed uh, from naming it sketch.constraints.od to flangebase.constraints.od and I'm not sure how I ended up with all these extra significant digits so I'll just get rid of them OK and OK and that's the basics of expressions. There's a lot more you can do with these, so visit the FreeCAD documentation page and look for more videos. I hope this was helpful.